Hi guys, welcome back to another Cornwall Vlogs video. Today I'm going to be reacting to the Sony CC 2019 20 fixtures. And if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and hopefully you can get 500 subscribers by the start of the season. Now let's get into the video. So, first game of the season, we've got Hull City at home. Steve Cooper wants the home fixture and we've got one at home against Hull. It's going to be a tough game. I know we drew to them 2 all last season at home. And away we lost 3 2. Hello, good side, they've got two good wingers, Jar Bowen and Gritsky. I think they're both leaving, though. Jar Bowen's been linked to Tottenham. And yeah, Nigel Atkins has been sacked as well. Second game of the season, we've got Derby County away. The first away game of the season, hopefully, I'll be going. I've never been to Derby, so I'm excited to go there. Last season wasn't that good, we lost 2 1 away, and at home we drew. Derby a good side. They have Harry Wilson and Capable players who are decent to Maury, uh, Tom Lawrence, Flaghorn, and yeah, and Frank Lampard has been linked to Chelsea since Sari has moved to Juventus. Uh, Frank Lampard will be mostly be moving to Chelsea since like, they're a better side, I'm guessing. Yeah. So third game of the season is another home fixture against Preston. Last season we didn't beat Preston home or away, we drew twice. Uh, Alex, Neil Alex, or Alex Neil, whatever his name is, the Preston manager, he's very good at defensive techniques and good at defending against teams. Preston are a decent side, and they had a right season last year. Four, yeah, fourth game of the season, they have QPR away. It's a midweek away game. Last season we did awful away at QPR, we lost 4-0 and at home we beat them 3-0. I don't know what happened away last season, it was just awful. And QPR, just QPR. Maybe. Fourth, fifth game of the season we got Birmingham City at home. Uh, good side Birmingham, we got Shea Adams, Juvic, whatever his name is, Juvic, I don't know how to say his name, uh, in front. And yeah, Gary Monk's also been sacked. And it's been linked to Newcastle, and no one likes the Bristol, uh, Birmingham City man, not manager, owner, sorry. Not a lot of their fans are very happy that they've sacked Monk, he was a good manager for Bristol, uh, Birmingham City. And at home last season we drew 3 all to Birmingham, Shea Adams got a lovely goal, and that really scored the 93rd minute, scared equaliser, it could be 94. Last game of the season, uh, last game of August, we've got Leeds away. Hopefully, be going to that as well. Never been to Leeds. Leeds have great atmosphere and their fans are brilliant. I'm looking forward to going to Leeds. Uh, they're a very good side. Last season, we drew two all at home. Only went the only scored, I can remember that. And their atmosphere was outstanding. Away, we lost 2 1. Only went the only scored again with a penalty. And yet, yeah, they move on to September. Month of September, first game, we have Nottingham Forest at home. Last season away at North Forest, we lost 2 1. We were all over Forest, but they scored two corner goals in the last five minutes. At home last season, we drew 2 all, uh, not 2 all, sorry, 0 0. And yeah, they're a decent side, Forest. I think Martin O'Neill's going to be going soon, and I've been looking for a new manager, but I think he'll leave. And they have some decent players and they're very good at defending also. Next we have Bristol City away. Some people call this a derby, but last season they beat us at home. Wyman scored for them. And in a way there was a massive fight, as most people have seen. And yeah, it was a very intense game. Uh, Bristol are a decent side, as I said. They've got some good players with Wyman. And one of their defenders is really good, that's what I mean, but yeah, they're really good. Last game of September, we've got Reading at home. We've had a very good form run at Reading. We beat them 4-1 away, and at home we beat them 2-0. 4-1 away was an amazing day. My Bruni's got a penalty, Connor Roberts scored, Mike van der Horn. It was a very good day, Reading. And that hopefully, it'll be another good year for us to carry on our streak against Reading. We move on to October. Uh, we've got Chelsea away Wednesday night. I'm looking forward to this game. I've never been to Chelsea, and they look a very good side. They done well in the League One last season, 
and got promoted to the championship. I don't know much about Cheltenham, so it's going to be interesting. Then we've got Stoke at home. Last season, Stoke, they were alright. I thought they were going to win the league. Most people thought they were going to win the league, but they haven't. They've signed a couple of pieces of players. Lee Gregory, just moved to them, and some other players. And last season, we Stoke 3-1 at home. Daniel James got back to the goal, but he's left us since he's good. And, yeah. Next, we've got Barnsley away. Another game I'm excited to go to. I've never been to Barnsley, and they're a decent side. I'm, yeah, I'm very looking forward to them. I don't know much about Barnsley, and yeah. Next, we've got Brentford at home. Tuesday night fixture. Last season, Brentford was amazing. If you've never been to Griffin Park, I would go because it's amazing. And yeah, we beat them 3 2 away last season. It was a very good game. I liked Griffin Park, as I just said. And at home, we beat them in the cup 4 1. That was a good game. We're good at that. Like, whenever we play Brentford, we're good. Uh, yeah, that's it. Now we've got the South Wales derby against Cardiff City. Looking forward to this game. Cardiff, they're a good side, I'll admit it, but I say we can do them at, I say we can beat them at home, but away it's going to be hard, I can't wait for this game, and yeah, next we move on to November, uh, first game in November we've got Wigan away, I've never been to Wigan, I don't know, I'll probably go this year, and it depends on money and how much I have, and hopefully we can beat Wigan, last season, I remember beating them at home, their supporters ain't that very good. They ain't that good at all. They hardly come in numbers. And away, they can't eat. And when we went away, I think we drew or we beat them, I can't remember. And they can't even fill their own stadium. Yeah, next we've got Sheffield Wednesday away. Last season was awful when we played them away. We lost 3 0, or 3 1 it was. I think it was 3 1, yeah. We played awful away. We were hopeless. Sheffield Wednesday are a good side, they have good fans, uh, they come in numbers, and yeah. And then we got Millwall at home, another game I loved last year. Millwall away was brilliant. And yeah, at home, they were decent uh, when they came to us. We only beat them 1 0, I think it was 1 0. George Byers scored. It could have been 2 0, but I think it was 1 0. George Byers scored, and yeah. Millwall are a decent side. Uh, the fourth game going into November, we have Huddersfield away. I uh, hope we be going there. Let's be to Huddersfield. I like their stadium. <coughs> I like Huddersfield Stadium. It's nice. They did have a good run in the Premier League last year. Unfortunately. And yeah. Uh, next we've got Fulham at home to finish the last game of November. Fulham are a decent side. But last season they did come for the Premier League. They spent too much money on loads of players and they didn't succeed. Uh, Fulham, they're an interesting side. I like their players and the managers are right there too. We move on to December. First game of December we have Black uh, not Blackburn, West Brom away. Didn't go last season since I had a GCSE on the day and it was a night game. Uh, yeah, West Brom are a decent side. Darren Moore was sacked last season and they had some good players with Dwight Gale and Jay, Rodri uh, Jay Rodriguez. I think Dwight like, Gale's uh, moving away. I think he could be going to uh, Burnley. Uh, next game we have Blackburn at home. Blackburn last season we drew two all seven away. We should have won that game. We were all over Blackburn. And yeah, uh, I, I don't think they bring many numbers. And they can't sell their own stadium. Middlesbrough at home last season we dominated a 3 0 easy win for us. Middlesbrough was a far journey. I didn't go last season too far. Uh, yeah, Middlesbrough's decent side. Next we have Luton away. I'm very looking forward to this. Luton away. They got they bossed the league last season. And the league one. They done very well. Don't know much about Luton, but I'm looking forward to the going there. And then Boxing Day we have Brentford away. Looking forward to going to that. Very excited because Brent the last season of these and we won 3 2 and I just like going to Crystal Park, it's a very good stadium. Then we've got Bardsley at home. As I said about Bardsley earlier, well, I don't know if I have thoughts on them yet, now Bardsley haven't. Hopefully we can do well at Bardsley. I know they ain't the best of sides but we can pull something against them I think. 
I think we get some good points. And yeah, last year just all outside. Now we go into January. January the first, we have Chowton at home. As I said about Chowton earlier, I don't know much about them. Um, yeah. Then we have Cardiff away. One of the biggest games this season, I think. Derby day. Everyone's looking forward to the South Wales Derby. And hopefully we can beat Cardiff. It's going to be hard away since it's their home and we're going to perform well there, I think. Then we've got Wigan at home. Uh, it's going to be an easy game against Wigan, I think. They haven't got much to show. And yeah, then we've got Stoke away. I've already been to the back for the sixth time. And it's a decent stadium. Uh, Stoke are already to find this out. And then we move on to February, we got Preston away. As I said, Alex Neal, the good defensive manager. And just, then we got Derby at home, I've already explained that about Frank Lampard and their good players for that. And they had a good run right last season. We got to the final against Aston Villa, but lost. Then we got QPR at home, we beat them 3 0 last season, not much to say about them. Then we got Hull City away, we got them. Last season we lost 3 2, so we could have won that game. But we got the home first game of the season, but Saturday, Saturday February the 15th, we got them away. Then we've got Huddersfield at home, another decent side. Looking forward to going there, and I don't know what they're going to show. Hopefully they're trying to put players, I hope they do. But yeah, then we've got Fulham away, I'm looking forward to the first game Coffee, 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 whatever it's called. Yeah, coffee, something like that. Uh, yeah, follow away, looking forward to that. Coffee, coffee, that's what it's called. Follow away, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Follow as a decent stadium, decent fans. And yeah, follow away all around well sides. Blackburn away, like their last season, the last season of the season. Drew to you, decent trip. Looking forward to that one as well. Moving on to March, we've got West Brom at home. They beat us 2-1 last season at home. They're a very good side to be honest, but they've sat down more so they'll have to look for a new manager. I don't know if they've got one yet. Plymouth were away, far trip up north. Uh, oh, I hope they go this year. Thanks for many uh, situations for that. Uh, then we've got Luton from Town at home, said about Luton, I don't know much about them, and I'm looking forward to that. Mill all away, last season of that, looking forward to that too. 2022. Millwall last season was class. Matt Doody scored in like the last five minutes, or like last three minutes, it was really brilliant. The atmosphere was really good there, yeah. Move on to April 2020, we had Sheffield Wednesday at home. Last season we beat them, I think it was 2-1, it could be 3-1 at home. It was decent with the first, and yeah. Not much about Sheffield Wednesday. April, we had April, we have Birmingham away, Friday night. So, I, uh, I think Birmingham are a decent side, at least, as I said. Gary Banks being sacked, and they'll have to get a new manager in. Don't know who they have, but yeah. Home, we have a home game out against Leeds, April the 13th. Uh, Leeds, as I said, they're a brilliant side. Great atmosphere, and I'm looking forward to see what they can bring to us this season. Then we April we have not the Forest Way, I'll be going to that. Uh not the Forest Way decent side, Martin O'Neill, very def defensive and yeah, uh, they bring some good passion to the game against us. Where we have Bristol City at home to finish off April. Very interesting game that'll be. City for we're going to be playing them away. Bristol brings some good atmosphere and some good fans. Same as Birmingham, I forgot to say about that. They bring some good fans as well. And yeah, Bristol are a good side. Then we've got Reading. Last game of the season away. Reading last season was amazing. We beat them 4-1. We've got a really good winning streak against Reading. And yeah, Reading away Saturday, May 2nd. So let's go through the map to see how many points we can get. Or oh, we've got Hull, Derby, Preston, QPR, Burnley and Leeds. Hull I think we could beat. Derby's going to be a tough game, probably get a draw, 4 points. Preston, I think we'll beat them, uh, 7 points. QPR, 
if we don't do as bad as we did last year, I think we can beat them. 10 points. Birmingham, probably get a draw. Maybe a win. Let's see 11. And Leeds, probably lose. But let's say we get a draw out of Leeds as well. So around 12 or 13 points in the ball yeah, in August. Decent. That is, I say. Now we move on to September. We've got Northern Forest, Bristol and Redden. Forest will probably get a draw, maybe lose. I guess they were going to get a draw though. That's one point. Bristol away is always going to be hard for us. Say another draw and Redding at home, we should win that easy. So about five points for the September. Now we move on to October. We've got Chelton, Stoke, Barnsley, Brentford and Cardiff. Chelton, don't know what they're going to bring yet. It could be amazing, it could be bad. Let's say we'll get a point out of that. Stoke at home will probably beat them. Three points, four that is. Barnsley away, don't know how good they are, so we'll have to wait and see if they get a point. Brentford at home will beat them. Three points. And then Cardiff at home. Hopefully we'll get the win, but I'm going to say we're going to draw. So that's one, four, five, eight. Nine points for October. I predicted that. Uh, November we've got Wigan, Sheffield Wednesday, Millwall, Hampshire and Fulham. Wigan's an easy game, three points there I think. Sheffield Wednesday, we're saying we're going to draw because they were good away last when they were home last season. Millwall at home, three points. Huddersfield's going to be a tough game. Say we get three points though, and Hull, uh, Fulham at home probably lose that. So what, three? And 11 points in November, I predicted. December, we've got West Brom, Blackburn, Middlesbrough, Luton, Brentford, and Barnsley. West Brom are a tough side, don't think we'll get any points. Blackburn, 3 points. Middlesbrough, I think they're points. Luton, I don't know about them yet. They're points. Brentford will beat them, 3 points. And Barnsley. At home, I say we're 5 December, we'll be confident push for playoffs for that so I guess it's three points. So zero, three, four, five, six, nine points to several with it. The January part of the year we've got Chelsea, Cardiff, Quicken and Stoke. I don't know how Chelsea are gonna play with playing out the team, let's say we get three points by then. Cardiff away, hopefully we can get the three points. Looking forward to that game. Three points against Cardiff will be tough. So I don't think we get that. We're gonna be easy as I said, three points. And Stoke, let's go for three points as well. So that month get twelve points hopefully. Get a full win that full winning streak that month for January. February, uh you've got Preston Derby, QPR Hull, Huddersfield Fulham, Blackburn. I'm looking forward to Preston, Hull, Fulham and Blackburn away. All what's it? All decent games. Preston, three points, Derby a draw, that's four. Keeper I hope he will beat them another three points for that test for that to fair Then we've got Holloway, be a tough game probably, be a point eight. Hedersville at home, probably draw for that. Nine. Well on the way probably will get any and get a point for Blackburn probably ten. Ten for the month of February. March we have West Brom. But Middlesbrough, Luton and Millwall, that's quite a tough man size against Mar uh, March. West Brom, don't know if we get any points. Middlesbrough, let's see a point. Luton, we don't know how they're going to play, let's see a point. And Millwall away, let's see three points. So that's five for, for March. And then we go on to April, I think this is the hardest month for us. We've got Sheffield Wednesday, Burnley and Leeds on for us in Bristol. When Sheffield went to a good side, let's see we get a point. Birmingham could get three points, could get a point, we could lose two days. Let's say we get a point. Leeds United, they're a good side, great atmosphere. When they come to us, they always bring good numbers, so let's say we won't win that one. Not a forest away. Not sure about that one. Last season we lost by like two quarter goals, but hopefully this season we've got our win, so let's say we get a point on that. At Bristol City at home, hopefully we'll do well and get three points. So I think we get around five points in the month of April. And last game of the season in May against Reading, let's see we get three points against Reading. I don't know much about Steve Cooper, but hopefully to bring some young youngsters to the side and give us some 
good pass of us getting the supporters up. I'm looking forward to see how well we can do in the 2019-20 season. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell notification. And also in the Carabao Cup, we've got Northampton at home. That should be an easy win for us. And yeah, as I said, leave a like if you enjoyed. More videos to come. Sorry I haven't been uploading recently. And come on for the next, hopefully, so we can get playoffs next season for this one. Thank you for watching.